G'day, it's Heath here from PickingLessons.com, the Sailor's Hornpipe. This is such a fun tune to pick, two parts key of G. In a moment, we're going to take a look at the first four measures to get us going in the tune. There's some interesting stuff in this arrangement. If you head to PickingLessons.com though, we're going to break down the remainder of the tune, the rest of part A and then also part B. Look at the techniques. We've got some great scale passages, arpeggio breakdown, some movement up and down the neck. You'll also find a backing and play along track there as well. Uh, and of course, a tablature, so PickingLessons.com. Okay, let's start out with these first four measures. We're going to have a look at this to kick us off. You'll find that straight away, this position change is gonna make it a little bit more challenging, but it works really well. It helps really smooth out the, the way the melody is moving. Uh, so we are in the key of G. We're, we're very scaly. We do have some arpeggios and whatnot in there, but just kicking it off, um, we'll count it in four beats per measure. So one, two, three, four, to that first beat there in measure one. Something straight up that you need to know is that staccato uh, mark in the music. So on beat two of measure one, we have a little dot underneath the note head um, under the G, and that's telling us to cut the note short. So a staccato is to uh, play a short note or break it up from the next beat, so a broken note. Uh, short and sharp is a good way of thinking of it. So as we hear it, it's disconnected from the next beat. It just really helps punctuate that rhythm. Moving on to measure two there. Our right hand is really important. Quarter notes, down strokes, down, up, down, up on the eighth notes. Really do follow that. It's all in the tablature there. Measure two. This technique, if you're not familiar with it, is really important. We're gonna roll our finger. Notice there from first three notes, down, up with the right hand, now roll the left hand with a downstroke. So that roll fingertip flat is really smooth moving between those two notes. So start on your fingertip without taking the finger away, roll it flat. So you're pushing sort of halfway down, just sort of underneath the fingertip there, but on the front side, that does really help to connect those two notes. Same fret, different strings. Uh, running down. There's our third beat. Then we need to make a quick transition with that third finger. Now this is a little awkward. Our third finger hits fret seven. First finger and little finger there in fret eight. So we're playing in a different position now. Uh, fifth position. First finger at fret five. So measure two, roll. Third finger on its fingertip, fret seven. That at tempo is gonna be a bit challenging, so we'll do it again slowly. Ready, and. Finger one, fret five, in measure three. So we're gonna stay in that position for a little while. Once we're there, our third finger is gonna play the A at fret seven, string four. And again, we have another staccato in there. That's an easy one because we can kind of use our third finger to release the pressure and bring it back on. The open strings, we can use our right hand or left hand. It doesn't really matter how we do that. But on that A, we get to use our third finger and we're still in position. First and fourth fingers before we change into measure four. So um, coming through measure two, position change, staying in position now. You can leave your first finger that entire time. Pinky there, measure four, third finger, open E, changing position. Third finger on that third fret there, back into that open position that we started in. So out of measure three. What you wanna be working on here is that transition through two, three, and four, so. Working through those transitions will be really important in smoothing out that melody. It's a really good way of playing, it works really well. So key of G, 
but we've had some accidentals already. The A7 core that comes in there in measure three is outside of the keys. So that's the second core that altered. Normally it's an A minor. Uh, in the fourth measure, we've got a C sharp accidental in the melody as well. So key of G, but certainly manipulates the melody and chord progression in a way that takes you outside of that. Uh, it does make it for a really interesting melody though. It's great. Pickinglessons.com, we're gonna break down the remainder of part A. We're gonna have a look at what we need to do to play this. We're gonna break down part B as well. You'll also have a backing and play along track you can download, the tablature of course, uh, and you can use all of that to help you get to know the tune. So pickinglessons.com, I'll see you there.